Hello, I'm Lloyd Dean, President and CEO of Dignity Health. And I'm Kevin Lofton, CEO of Catholic Health Initiatives. It's our pleasure today to share with you that Catholic Health Initiatives and Dignity Health have signed a definitive agreement to combine our ministries and build a new Catholic health system. Together, we will create healthier communities across 28 states, improve access, and advance the move from sick care to well care. Together, we will have a stronger operational and financial foundation to transform our organizations and support the people and communities we serve. The right care at the right time in the right place has never felt more relevant. This alignment helps preserve the sisters' legacy because we started hospitals several hundred years ago and they were to respond to a need. It makes it stronger because now we're responding to different needs and it's not about the, the sisters, it's about those who can carry out what was started and the, the legacy is the care for the poor and the vulnerable and to help people be healthier. We have the same mission, vision, and values, but we don't have the same strengths. We have different strengths. So bringing them together, being able to share them with all people, especially the most vulnerable, but all people. I'm just excited about the possibility, as are the other sponsors. Our people share a calling to serve all people with compassion, and we both celebrate our Catholic heritage and we both advocate for those who are poor and vulnerable who count on us for access to quality care. It became clear that we could best achieve this goal by creating a new organization, one that will have a stronger foundation and be in a better position to advance our collective mission. This announcement is the culmination of more than a year of thoughtful exploration and collaboration. We have an opportunity to bring together two strong systems and create a new industry leader that integrates the best of both CHI and Dignity Health. And because our existing service areas do not overlap, we can focus on growing clinical and community services. Despite all the uncertainties in today's changing healthcare environment, one thing is constant, standing still is not an option. Our sponsors wanted to know the degree to which there was similarity between the two organizations. 55,000 people gave their feedback. The results were outstanding. The number one item that was the same between the two organizations was a commitment to compassionate care. I'm most excited about the alignment because we will be able to shape healthcare for the future. We're a great platform for that. We've got a great foundation. We've got a great mission and we see a various pathways in which we can make that difference. Now that we have an agreement in place, the real work begins in creating our new organization. Kevin and I will both serve as CEOs, each with specific and independent responsibilities. We will work side by side with our teams to plan and implement a successful integration. Thank you for everything you do, day in and day out, to serve the people and communities who entrust their lives to us. I also want to thank each of you for what you do every day on behalf of our patients and the communities we are privileged to serve. We are stronger as one. Together, we will create a healthier future for all. We use this prayer as our, we call it our clinic prayer. The, the prayer says, may God bless us with enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in this world so that we can do what others claim cannot be done. And it's that what others claim cannot be done that I see this as part of the mission that we have here in this alignment. Our voice is needed today more than it has ever been needed in my lifetime. And we will be that voice, that voice for what is right, for what is just, for what is good.